About 4.5 billion kilometres from our world, Neptune, a vast ice planet, sits beyond Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus as the most distant planet in our solar system. It's a colossal blue world with massive storms that are sometimes as big as our Earth, but that hasn't stopped scientists from probing it. Join us in today's video as we peer into the uncharted territory of this gas giant. Back in 1846, French astronomer Urbain Le Verrier found Neptune using a mathematical model. It was a first of its kind discovery because no other planet had been discovered through this method. This model was also used to calculate the planet's mass. Unlike some other planets in our solar system, like Mercury, Venus, Mars and Jupiter, Neptune is too faint to be seen with the naked eye from Earth. However, the invention of sophisticated telescopes and space probes over the years has made it easier to explore this colossal world in all of its glory. But our closest encounter with Neptune came back in 1989 when NASA's Voyager 2 travelled around the planet. About half a decade later, the spacecraft began to reveal deep secrets about this icy gas giant to scientists. It showed us the true identity of Neptune, covered in teal and cobalt blue bands of clouds, highlighting the planet's similarities with Jupiter. On the surface, Neptune looks calm, more like a possible travel destination. But make no mistake, the interior of this planet is wild and dangerous. We'll dive into the specific details of this later. Neptune is blessed with an intricate ring system much like Saturn. The gas giant has five main rings and strange clumps of dust that are known as arcs. Theorists believe that Neptune's moon Galatea is responsible for these clumps. Thanks to the Voyager 2 spacecraft, scientists discovered four new rings, six additional moons and a colossal storm rampaging through Neptune's atmosphere called the Great Dark Spot. In all, Neptune has 14 moons. Triton is one of the planet's most popular moons, largely because of its magnificent ice volcanoes. At the first point of discovery, this spot was quite big. Big enough to contain our Earth, but it has gotten smaller over the years. Apart from the great dark spot, there are several smaller storms to contend with on the planet. In the beginning, the origins and features of Neptune were masked in mystery. However, scientists were able to learn more about the blue ice giant by combining information provided by the Hubble Space Telescope and the details about similar planets to learn all the secrets of this planet. Neptune is about four times the size of our Earth. The deeper you travel into this mythical planet, the tighter it is squeezed together. Also, temperature and pressure increase as you travel closer to the planet's core and this creates a hellscape environment. In other terms, the deeper you dive into Neptune, the hotter and denser it gets. If you must visit this strange world, it's best to make your entry through the northern hemisphere, where the winds are less violent. Neptune can be divided into four different parts. The layers, the atmosphere, the mantle and the core. Scientists say the distance between layers are extreme, while the transitions are enormous. Also, due to its complexity as a gas giant, different parts of Neptune rotate at varying speeds. Interestingly, the length of a typical day on Neptune varies depending on which part of the planet you are located. To be specific, a day at the North Pole of the planet is 12 hours long. Meanwhile, a day on the equator is only 6 hours long. The climate conditions and atmospheric composition of Neptune is quite different from what we experience on Earth. Neptune's atmosphere is deprived of oxygen, so you'll need to make provisions for a substantial oxygen tank if you're planning a trip to the planet. You might want to get set up with a viable light source as well, because Neptune gets very little sunlight. The brightest moments on Neptune are equivalent to a dim twilight on Earth. Getting night vision glasses wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Neptune's outermost atmosphere is extremely cold. It is largely made up of hydrogen and helium and some small elements of methane. This methane, according to scientists, absorbs red light and reflects blue light back into space. And that's why Neptune wears a rich cobalt blue colour. The same process is what makes Uranus blue as well. However, Neptune's hue is much more vivid and scientists can't seem to explain how or why that is the case. 
Additionally, Neptune's outer layer is quite chaotic and known to occasionally experience strong winds. In fact, the fastest winds in our solar system were recorded on Neptune, and the thick clouds in its atmosphere reportedly travel five times faster than the strongest winds ever recorded on our Earth. For perspective, these clouds travel twice as fast as the speed of sound. The thick chaotic clouds extend about 10 to 20% of Neptune's core, which helps to hide the internal structure of the planet. The other 80% is made up of water, methane and ammonia. The weather on Neptune is sometimes unpredictable, but on average the planet is best described as ice cold, with an average temperature sometimes clocking minus 214 degrees Celsius or minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit. That's quite expected considering how far away it is from the sun. But surprisingly, as you make your way down to the thermosphere, which is filled with ammonia and hydrogen sulphide, the temperature around this region is about 477 degrees Celsius, which is equivalent to 890 Fahrenheit. Ordinarily, Neptune shouldn't be this hot, but scientists say the reason for this is perhaps because the planet has an internal energy source, like some of its neighbouring planetary bodies. There are also suggestions that the rise in temperature could be caused by the atmospheric interaction with ions in Neptune's magnetic field. It is believed that Neptune's 3,000 km thick hydrogen and helium atmosphere lead to a large body of water, more like a slushy icy ocean, that's about 17,500 km deep. But ironically, the ocean isn't stable like the ones on Earth. Rather, it changes from time to time, from gas into a strange thick liquid. Falling into it would make you feel like you're plunging deep into a heavy layer of fog that becomes colder as you travel further into it. Eventually, you'd find yourself swimming in a super hot bottomless ocean filled with treasures. It is made up of high pressure water, methane and ammonia ices. Due to the climate peculiarities on the planet, the elements that constitute this pool behave like an extremely hot, dense liquid. Scientists believe that the conditions around this layer are responsible for the strong winds, which can reach a top speed of up to 550 metres per second. They are also believed to be the main cause of the planet's mysterious magnetic field. Within this layer, methane molecules reportedly break apart and carbon atoms also condense into crystals of diamond that eventually rain down through the planet's mantle like hailstones. Over the years, scientists have carried out lab experiments to mirror the conditions on Neptune. These experiments show that a layer of liquid carbon may exist within the mantle of the planet as well as a floating solid components of diamond or diamond bergs if you like. These swirling internal oceans of diamonds sometimes deflect and tilt Neptune's magnetic field, perhaps clarifying the mystery surrounding the theory of the planet's lopsided magnetic poles. Situated below Neptune's chaotic atmosphere and thick ocean is a solid core. Scientists believe this core is made of ice and silicate and measures about half the size of Earth. Despite all the fascinating revelations that Voyager 2 showed us about Neptune, it remains one of the least explored planets because we've only visited it once. Sadly, no other mission has been launched to the planet ever since, and scientists believe there's more to learn about this icy gas giant. However, with the invention of the James Webb Space Telescope and other sophisticated space observatory equipment, scientists are optimistic we'll get more intricate details about Neptune.